What's up everybody, Camero here, and welcome to part 28 of my How to Make a Pokemon Game tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to be looking at adding evolution stones. I'm going to show you how to make them, and we're going to do a little bit of custom art for our stones, and then we're going to add them to our scripts, and then test them and get them working. With that said, let's get into it. So, the very first thing you need to do is make your stone. So, let's go to our items.txt, and scroll up a bit, all the way to the very top. Around the top here, a lot of the other stones have already been defined. You know, Firestone, Thunderstone, Waterstone, Leafstone. You can really just copy one of these and then paste it at the bottom for your own new item. So I'm going to copy Leafstone. And really all you need to know is that this 100 at the end means you can use it on a Pokemon and it'll disappear afterwards. So let's go to the very bottom of our items.txt. Change this number to be one higher than the number before it, so 597, 598, and now we'll just call this a trade stone. My idea for the stone that I want to be adding is a stone to replace trade evolutions. So since a lot of these games can't connect to online, um, it'll be nice to be able to acquire Machamp through the use of a stone, like Machamp, Gengar, Alakazam. I want to use a stone on them to evolve them since you can't connect to the internet with this. So a peculiar stone that makes certain species of Pokemon evolve. Um, let's just say trade. It makes trade Pokemon evolve. I don't know. You can write your own description here to customize it and make it cooler, but I'm just going to put this for now. So now in our game, item 598 is the trade stone. So the next thing we should do when making an item is some art for it. So what I've done is in Photoshop, I have opened the um, Dawn stone, which is item 19, I think. And um, all I did was apply a color overlay of purple and then change the blend mode to hue. So now it's like a purple one. And so this can be our stone. So then we need to save this as item 598 because that's our item. So instead of 597, this will be item 598. Cool. So now we have the art for our item and we have the item itself created. So we're really close to the end, actually. The next thing we need to do is check our scripts and add it, so that way it can function as an evolutionary stone. Well, actually, no, there is another thing we need to do, um, but I'll show that after the scripts. Um, so in the script editor, in item effects and just items, you can find lines where they define if it's an evolution stone. So we want to add our stone to the list of current evolution stones. So. One easy way to get to this part in your scripts is Control shift f and then like search for leaf stone. And it's just in items. So if it's an evolution stone, it's on this list. So let's add it to the list. So comma, colon, trade stone. Nice. So it's been added there. And then the next place we need to add it is in the script right beneath it, item effects. What you can do is just Control f leaf stone again to get there in item effects. But yeah, this is just another list and you add it to the end. So just like what we did for the last one, we can add trade stone here. So now it's basically working. Now, the only other thing we need to do now is modify our Pokemon so that way they evolve via trade stone. So we can go and open our TXT files again and go to pokemon.txt. And I'm, I'm on Machoke right now because I want to make Machoke evolve via trade stone. But um, as you can see right now, it evolves to Machamp via trade. But instead, we want it to evolve via item. So what we can do is item, comma, trade stone. A good example of how to do multiple evolutions for stones is if you search for Eevee in your document, you can see it evolves to Vaporeon if the item used on it is a water stone. To Jolteon if the item used on it is a Thunderstone, Flareon, Item, Firestone. So we're doing the exact same thing for Machoke. Machoke evolves to Machamp via Item, Trade Stone. So our Trade Stone has been created, our Pokemon evolves if it's used, and our scripts have been modified so that way Trade Stones are treated as Evolutionary Stones. Those should be the three things that we needed to do to get it to work. And now when we run our game, it should work. So let's test it out. There is one small issue that has to do with the UI refreshing. But aside from that, everything will work perfectly. 
So once the game is done loading, now we can go into our game. So I've gone ahead and added a Machoke to my team just to test this out. Um, but I want to do debug, add item, and I want to scroll down to our trade stone. So I'm holding page down. Let's see, should be close now. Look at all those TMs, okay. There it is. And it's using our art that we set before. It's like a dawn stone, but it's purple. And I'll give myself a couple of them, or a good amount of them. All right, so once again, we're gonna use our trade stone on the Machoke. Bag, trade stone, there it is. So it has the description that we set. It has the art that we set. And we can hit use, and it's treated as a use item. And it is able to be used on Machoke. It's not able to be used on any of the other ones, because in their Pokemon.txts, they're not set to evolve via anything for Trade Stone. So, let's try using our Trade Stone on Machoke. Right on. So Machoke will evolve to a Machamp if a Trade Stone is used on it. So it works perfectly. You So using this method, you can make plenty of your own evolutionary stones and have Pokemon evolve to lots of different things. So you can get super creative with it. So this is the one error, the, the one issue I was talking about. There is a UI issue where it still thinks that Machamp is able to be used it on. But then if you close and reopen, it's not able to be used on. I want to figure out a fix for that, but you know, it's just something to live with right now. But yeah, that's how you add evolutionary stones. It's super simple and super quick to do. Like I said before, you can get really creative. You can make some Pokemon evolve to certain Pokemon if a certain stone is used on them. You can get like real wacky. And uh, yeah, with that said, hopefully this video helped you out. Um, yeah, there's really not much else to say. You know, subscribe to YouTube, you know, follow Twitch and Twitter, join the Thundaga Discord. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I think this might wrap up the week of me doing tutorial videos one a day for the 1,000 subscriber thing, which once again, thank you very much everyone for subscribing. So yeah, if there's any other topics you want to see covered, you know, leave a comment and uh, I'll get to it next time. All right, I'll see you guys.